The next version of Apple Intelligence is here. We now have iOS 18.2. So part two of part three or four of Apple Intelligence is here. And I want to talk about some of the new features because there's quite a few. And I also want to kind of address the pesky opt-in thing, right? So if you haven't upgraded to iOS 18.1 previously, I think you still have to opt in if you haven't opted in for the... Uh, the Apple Intelligence Beta, which is ridiculous. So anyway, if you need to, if you download iOS 18.2, you find out that some of these options aren't working, go into the Apple Intelligence and Siri tab in your settings, and at the very top, there should be an option for opt-in. If you've never done that, you'll probably have to. If you have already done that, I didn't have to when I upgraded. But here's the new features, Image Playground. So you, there's an Image Playground app and messages integration for creating stylized images based on prompts and images of you and your friends. So it's a little bit more limited. It's not like the Gemini Studio stuff. Uh, it's not like the, or the Pixel Studio, sorry. It's not like what you get the more advanced stuff with Samsung and Google. And it seems to be integrated around images of you and your friends. We'll see if it gets better later on and we just get true image generation. Image Wand, so Image Wand is for adding images of what you've written in notes uh, app on the iPad, you can use Apple Pencil to make a rough sketch and have Image One turn it into something nicer. This is very much a ripoff of what Samsung and, and has already done. And you got Jinmoji, so you can create a custom emoji. Uh, it's similar to Image Playground, but a smaller emoji size scale. People with the iOS 18.1 installed will see Jinmoji and even get information about them, but they can only be created in 18.2. So if you're having some frustration with that and you're like, I'm seeing them, but I can't create them, Make sure you're updated to the latest version of iOS, iOS 18.2. Go into general, under your settings, and then do check for software update. And just make sure you need to, of course, update to 18.2 to get these features. Siri Chat GPT. And I'm reading this from MacRumors.com. They kind of did a nice consolidation, so thanks to those guys. But Siri, Siri Chat GPT. Siri can now hand over requests to Chat GPT. So Apple and Siri are so intelligent that they don't use their own intelligence. They farm it out to Chat GPT. A feature that's entirely opt-in. You need you don't need a Chat GPT account, and anything you ask Siri can be sent to Chat GPT if you want. Chat GPT has more advanced info than Siri. Can also generate images and text. So that's another way you can create original images or text and not like the limited one with the image playground. If you want to make simpler turn requests. Uh, yeah, if you want to make it simpler to turn requests over to chat GPT, you can toggle off the ask every time setting. So Siri doesn't always need your permission to contact chat GPT. Siri with chat GPT integration supports on-screen responses. So you can do things like ask what's in this photo when you're looking at an image, if you can't figure it out, <laughs> visual intelligence. So Apple's ripoff of Google lens is here. And it's another incorporated feature you can use with the camera control. Visual intelligence can be used to identify objects and places around you. Long press the camera control button to get visual intelligence. Point at your iPhone at something. You can get hours and reviews for, for different places. Like let's say you po use Apple intelligence, your visual intelligence on like McDonald's. It'll tell you, uh, is it rated like 4.5 out of 5? Uh, what are the store hours? So you can get general stuff, information, location. Uh, the camera's looking at a restaurant, copy text, get text, read aloud, uh, search for items on Google, and ask chat GPT questions and about objects and more. So you should be able to take a photo or have it look at something with visual intelligence and then ask chat GPT questions about different objects and stuff. So uh, it seems like they're on the right path to trying to make it meaningful. But again, it's basically just a rip off of Google Lens. Uh, writing tools, the rewrite writing tools feature is no longer limited to three styles with iOS 18.2. You can describe the tone or content you want, such as adding more dynamic words or turning an email into a poem. If you love an e e email so much, you want to see it in poem form uh, with uh, iambic pentameter, then go for it, right? <laughs> uh, languages with iOS 18.2, Apple intelligence supports English in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, South Africa, and UK, in addition to UK English. Granted, these are all English languages. It's not supporting like French Canadian or anything like that. It's just supporting different versions of English. So if you're in Canada, you no longer have to set your phone to US English to use Apple intelligence. So that's something that's been limited. Still no rollout in the UK, Europe, China. So we still have limited market support for this stuff. And yeah, those are basically the new features. So Genmoji, Image One, Image Playground, Siri, incorporation with ChatGPT, visual intelligence, writing tools, and languages. So 
We're still waiting on the big Siri update, Siri 2.0, that's supposed to come in the spring. So now that we've got the first update in October, we got the second update here in December. We should be on track, I think, somewhere between March and April. I don't know exactly when, but that looks like probably when it's going to go online. And then we'll have roughly the full deployment of Apple Intelligence, which to me still isn't very intelligent. But hey, they at least said they're not going to charge for this. I don't know. I have a feeling at some point they're going to charge us. It's just one of those things. I feel like basically it feels like all this AI stuff is something they copied and licensed from Google, copied the homework, changed the name, and resubmitted it. And some of it, it just really seems painfully obvious at this point. So it's good that they're getting it. It's good that it's free. But I'm sure as they get more online with Apple Intelligence, just the Apple way of doing business is not giving you free things. So I at some point envision them giving us more premium AI features and then maybe charging for them that, at that point. But anyway iOS 18.2, it is there, it is available, you can download it. One nice thing about the iPhones and Apple is when they push it out, you can pretty much download it. It's not like with the Pixel where it's a rolling uh, rolling update, it might take you three, four, five days before you can finally download it. Same thing with Samsung, it's not necessarily available to everybody, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> so it's one of those nice things that Apple does do. And as much as I have problems with Apple, as much as I have issues with their phones sometimes, I do appreciate the ecosphere. I appreciate the way they do updates. And, you know, I do like some of the things that they do, right? But it's just not my it's not my cup of tea. And I understand if you're watching this, it probably is your cup of tea. So I want to hope that I've been helpful here. The goal here was to be helpful, talk about the update, how to get it. And this is something that's going to apply to iPhone 15 Pro and newer. So if you're still kind of out on this Apple intelligence bandwagon, if you don't have an iPhone 15 Pro or newer, if you have a 15 to 15 Plus, you won't get this. You don't have the requisite 8 gigabytes of RAM. You don't have the chip that's supported for it. So if you have an iPhone 12, 13, 14, regular 15, your SOL, if you don't know what that means, then look it up or ask your Apple intelligence. Chat GPT can probably explain to you what SOL means. <laughs> um, but you're out of luck, buddy. So if you've got an iPhone 15 Pro or newer, then this is something that can help you. The right, All the iPhone 16, 16 Plus, Pro, Pro Max, all that stuff, you will have access to this. Go ahead and get it, download it, test out the new stuff. I mean, I kind of want to test out the Genmoji stuff. There's not really much in the Apple intelligence or the updates that's appealed to me all that much, but the idea of being able to make like custom, custom emojis is kind of neat. Maybe I can make a real saluting emoji instead of the half face one that annoys the heck out of me. So there's some nice stuff that it's about it. There's quality life refinement improvements and some new feature stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Hopefully this was helpful. I got to go purge and like fast for the next week since I made a semi-positive Apple related video. It just hurts my heart and my soul. <laughs> anyway, I I'm joking. I'll be okay. It's probably just the extra sodium I had today. So that's all I got. If you have any questions, comments, gripes, complaints, all that good stuff, go to the comments section. I'll do my best to get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, if you found this helpful, if you want to see more Apple content, hit the like and the subscribe. Yeah, hit the like and the subscribe button and a little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you guys next time.